The Virginia Tech uh, Future House is a concept for the future of housing. We've come up with a concept home that is uh, intended to be prefabricated. It's a house built in a factory. This is a, a concept where we're proposing components of homes to be built almost like appliances or, um, you know, or automobiles. What we have here is 18, we call them cartridges, but they're 18 prefabricated components. They are built inside. These uh, just a couple months ago were inside our research facility, all being um, pre-wired and uh, pre-plumbed and pre-finished um, as individual units. Each of those units has its own hookup uh, component, like a sub panel for electrical and stub outs for the plumbing, kind of like Legos. Uh, by the end of the day, pretty much the whole house is assembled and wired and uh, essentially you know, ready to go. What we're looking at here is a energy positive home. Uh, the house is powered by solar. It's solar uh, electric with photovoltaics and solar thermal with uh, solar hot water panels. So the house produces not only all of its own power and hot water, but actually more power. It feeds the grid and it charges your electric car. So once this house goes to Dubai for the competition and comes back, it'll actually be a research facility on campus working closely with the computer science uh, department to explore how to best introduce technologies into everyday life. It's gonna revolutionize uh, how we build because it's gonna cut down the length of time that it takes to, uh, to, to build a home. It's gonna improve the quality of the home. It's gonna uh, actually lower the cost, believe it or not, uh, because it's a much more efficient way to build. So we're at the entrance of the home now. Um, this is, we call this the mud room. Where you see these uh, MDF, these raw MDF panels, these will be replaced with back painted white glass. Uh, this is Gorilla Glass. This is uh, the Corning product that um, you, you, you have on your phones. But what it'll allow us to do is put touch interfaces throughout the house. So it's really like Star Trek. These panels are removable. Uh, it's a sub panel. Uh, you'd see a panel like this on each of the main cartridges of the home. So we only have one set of wires that go back to the main breaker panel. When you're finished servicing that wall, the panels will just pop right back on. If you look behind me overhead, there's the central spine. These, this is what everything connects into. You know, this collects those home runs from you know, those hookups from each individual cartridge and brings it back to the main breaker panel. Uh, the house uh, comes equipped with, uh, with batteries. So the uh, solar, is, solar power is collected during the day. We use that power for all the functions of the house during the day when the sun's out, but we save power for night, for nighttime. This whole house is filled with innovative products. So we're, we're featuring inno innovative projects in an innovative house uh, itself. With the adjustability, you have the vanity that raises and lowers. Your child can come in, brush their teeth, no problems. Uh, or your, your basketball player son can come up and uh, brush his teeth. This is pretty innovative. This is a collaborative project with Kohler as well, uh, where the sensors identify you know, where your hand is located and it gives you uh, warm, cold or, or hot water, depending on where, where, you, where you place your hand. The mirror is a, a touch, a smart mirror as well. Uh, it's interactive, you, you touch it, you, you get an interface, you can control music, you can bring up uh, weather or traffic in the morning as you're getting ready for work. You can adjust the lighting, you can turn on and off music. You can actually control the bathtub. The orbital system here, this is a very innovative uh, solution for saving water in the shower. What it does is it, uh, it has sensors in the, in the shower pan that determine whether the water that you're, that's draining down to the drain is still clean. If you're not using soap or if you know, the water remains clean, it will pull that water back up and reuse it in the shower head. Uh, when you take a shower, I think it's saving about 90% of the water that you would use. The tub is a smart tub. It's called the Viber Acoustic Tub by Kohler. And uh, it's a sound system 
Uh, it has uh, transducers, exciters in, in the walls of the tub, so it actually turns the water into a speaker system for your music. We're in the master bedroom now. We have converted a Sleep Number 360 smart bed into a Murphy bed. So in the morning you would wake up, uh, you move on to the bathroom, you know, to get ready for work, and you can convert the room into your walk-in closet space. And on the back side of this bed, you'll get a dressing room mirror and a compacted room that will make space in the living room for later on. So when you want to convert the space into the walk-in closet and expand the living room, this wall can move. It can be a gesture control or it can be a voice control. So the wall has the ability to change, to transform the size of the space from a master bedroom into a walk-in closet. So now we're on the other side of that same wall. When you want to convert from a large bedroom to a large living room, the wall will easily move and transform your space. When you want a home office, you want to convert the living room into a, a smaller room and, and widen the space of your home office. We can slide the what we call the audio-visual wall out and introduce either a small office for a single person or a large office for a conference room and a meeting space. The television of the audiovisual wall can be utilized for teleconferencing on the one side or it can spin around and be used for the football game in the living room. When you don't need the office, you can stow that away and move this into its home until the next morning when you need to work again. The idea is we're taking a 900 square foot home and we're making a essentially a 1500 or a 1700 square foot home with a lot more functionality. It's a smaller home to have to heat and cool with just as much functionality as a big home. It's a strategy, what we're trying to do is incorporate systems uh, seamlessly into the architecture. So we're relying on the smart systems of the house to allow us to make that happen. That's why the Mitsubishi system is so important for this house because uh, it's going to be uh, controlled with the smart systems and, and interfaces and sensors uh, throughout.